Rumor has it that Dwayne Wade has been on a roll since Diddy's cases were made public because allegedly there are a bunch of things that implicate him in all the videos that the feds already have their hands on. And then if you got 250 cameras, there's a lot of footage that them agents gotta go through. Child, what was Diddy doing with 250 cameras in his home? Well, allegedly, the footage in the cameras, plus the hundreds of hours of footage Lil Rod said exists from his parties, is ultimately what is going to be his undoing, and the undoing of everyone who was ever a participant in the parties like Dwayne Wade. And apparently for Dwayne Wade, he's not even concerned about being at the parties. He is more concerned about the footage of him being on the DL and possibly taking advantage of much younger artists. Okay, y'all know that there have been speculations over the years that Dwayne is on the down low. And he even fueled those speculations himself during a 2021 interview with I Am Athlete, where he revealed that he used to wear his sister's heels and clothes when he was a kid. At three years old, like I said, when me and my wife looked at each other, right? And the reason we looked at each other is because of this, you know, as kids, I used to put on heels. I used to put on, I used to do all those things. I, I try to put on whatever my sisters wear, whatever my sisters did, I try to do those things. Then there have been people like Boosie who have suggested that Dwayne has always been on the DL. Like when he shared a post on Twitter where he wrote while targeting Gabrielle Union, LOL, the whole world know I love women and the world know your husband love D. I hope you don't think blacks look at y'all like a power couple. They don't. I had refused to talk about y'all in interviews and here you go. Go bang him with that D and wait on a script, you little white girl. In addition, followers have said over the years that they have seen the signs, like that time when Dwayne posted a photo with Gabrielle and his legs were crossed, exposing a thigh tattoo. In another instance, Dwayne also posted a photo showing off his painted toes and a gold anklet. There was also a blind item that previously made rounds that read, This former A-list NBA player says on road trips he used to sleep with his A-plus list teammate, who is also now retired. Both men are married to women. And the names that came up up a lot with regards to the blind item were Dwayne Wade and Chris Bosh. Apparently, a lot of these NBA stars were invited to the parties, which would explain why there are usually so many blind items that NBA players are on the DL. So to a lot of people, those were just receipts that Dwayne could actually be on the DL, which means to them that those wild gay party stories are not really far-fetched. Now, I personally would never have a problem with how someone chooses to identify, but the problem with Dwayne is that there have been allegations that the things he has done, especially with young artists, are pretty much the same things Diddy is being accused of. For those who recall, there was a time when Jaguar Wright was also exposing how she spoke to a bunch of artists who told her that they were forcefully getting bent over at Dwayne's house in the parties he was organizing. I'm saying that because of the artist that I just spoke to not that long ago that got invited to a party at their house. Everything was cool up front till they went to the back and it was a bunch of old f and f young boys back there all it's naked in the Wade house. Plus, back in the day, Dwayne Wade's former business partner, Baron Richard Von Houtman, exposed Dwayne Wade for hosting parties very similar to the ones Diddy has been accused of hosting. Richard said that he got sucked into doing business with Dwayne because he had a first-class media persona and people viewed him as the new Michael Jordan. He said he thought that Dwayne Wade was the good guy, father of the year, and a celebrity who had his head on his shoulders. But he found out after a year that he was nothing like that. According to Richard, Dwayne Wade used an apartment to host adult parties with his entourage during his marriage, and he even went into the details of the apartment, saying, It was a four-bedroom place on the first floor of a high-rise. One day, I got a call from my cleaning crew at the apartment. I went down there, and what I saw was disgusting. The apartment was trashed, filthy, and it wasn't the first time. Apparently, they'd have those parties there two or three times a week, and there were always dozens of people in there, including rappers, Dwayne and his entourage, and men and women they pick up in clubs. Richard even described the scenes after a party, saying there were used condoms on the floor of the bedroom rooms, obvious signs of intimate activities on all the beds, empty champagne and hard liquor bottles, nearly finished blunts, and half-eaten food riding on tables and furniture. He also said that Dwayne also took Gabrielle Union to the parties, and within no time, she was part and parcel to whatever was going on. I'm not sure how complicit Gabrielle was, or if she was being forced to do things like Cassie, but based on what Richard said, Gabby knows a lot of what was happening at the parties. I mean, given all these descriptions of all the things that were going on at the parties, isn't it also giving the freak-offs that Diddy 
Street was hosting? Speaking of Gabby, I know I read somewhere some time back that she was just like Amber Heard in those parties that were being organized by the rich and famous. And when I say that she was like Amber Heard, I mean that she was responsible for bringing young people to the rich men, allegedly. Remember when the Johnny Depp versus Amber Heard case was hot? There was an expose by Jessica Reed where a source actually told Jessica that she had seen videos of what appeared to be young people invited by rich men in compromising situations. But it was difficult to say who was involved because a few people in those videos were also some of the same people involved in the Johnny Depp versus Amber Heard trial. Allegedly, favorites like Amber were tasked with bringing young, mostly queer people to the parties. And based on someone who even gave their personal accounts, a lot of the time they were given substances before attending the parties. So they had no idea what was going on. The parties were, or still are, reportedly usually fueled by insane amounts of MDMA and mostly feature costumes and satanic themes and weird acts conducted on stages in front of the attendees of the party. Basically what Cassie was also describing in her lawsuit against Diddy. And if the rumor mill is anything to go by, Miss Gabrielle is not innocent. Child, could this be the reason why she's stuck by Dwayne even amidst multiple cheating rumors? Is she stuck with him for good? Well, reportedly Dwayne is not okay because there are hours of footage of the parties he specifically threw with Diddy and they implicate him a lot. And if you ask Gene Deal, it's only a matter of time before all these things are made public. He did another interview recently and said very soon Diddy will have to be indicted because first of all, the statistics are not in his favor. But the Southern District of New York has a 98.2 conviction rate. All right, for those who don't know, if you got a hundred people, only one point Two eights or something like that, 98 point. You have 1.8. Only 1.8 has won against them. In fact, according to Gene Deal, the situation is bad with Diddy because he has a case. And for that, the jury only needs one witness for him to be convicted. Because let me just say something. With the African thing, it only takes one witness to convince the jury. One witness. And we know who that witness is going to be. Cass. She filed a civil suit against him. So it only takes one in this charge. It only takes one witness. Apparently, the only reason why Diddy hasn't been indicted yet is because there is so much more to get into. But as soon as the Southern District of New York puts things together, it's gonna be over for Diddy. Remember, there's also that interview from 2018, which resurfaced where Jonathan Audie claimed that he was an escort for Diddy and a slave who slept with Cassie as well. For those who recall, Audie was arrested after an incident at the Trump National Doral Miami Golf Club, where he ranted about Donald Trump, Barack Obama, and P. Diddy. The video that resurfaced also showed Adi detailing questionable activities and connections, including involvement with a popular adult website and finding men for Diddy. Okay, so far, even if people like Dwayne Wade have been mentioned in connection to Diddy, there's really nothing much that directly puts him in the fire. But what I know is that a lot of Hollywood elites are moving heaven and earth to make sure they are not exposed in the Diddy case. Who knows, maybe Diddy will be the one out of the 100 who doesn't get indicted because of the other people also involved in his cases. Anyway, Meanwhile, let me know what you think of Dwayne Wade's alleged involvement in the parties. Do you think he's just as bad as Diddy? Do you believe he's one of the people who will go down once the tapes leak? Sound off in the comments section below.